Hey everybody, hope you're good. Today I'm going to show you a quick trick to get search engines to not index a specific page or pages on your website. Now, at first glance, this concept might seem a bit bizarre, I get it. Most of us think that strong SEO means indexing and getting as much as possible out there, which in turn boosts your search engine authority. So it's kind of counterintuitive to think that there's any reason not to index content. But sometimes it's definitely a good choice to make. For example, let's say that you're targeting a certain keyword or keywords, and most of the pages on your site do an excellent job of employing that keyword. Now, obviously, I'm talking about in an organic, non-stuffing kind of way. But maybe you have a page that's not about that keyword set, like a thank you page after your customer buys something, or after they order a subscription or signs up on your site, something like that. And maybe it's a great thank you page, heartfelt and detailed, Maybe it inspires the user to take further action that helps you out. All that's awesome. But maybe that page isn't about targeting your keyword sets. So if the search engines are crawling it, even with a robots.txt file that tells them not to have it pop up randomly in search results, they'll still index it and include that content in their algorithms. And maybe that can actually set you back and dilute your SEO work. That's one example. Or maybe you've got a members-only page that gives the user some extra info that they didn't have before, after they've submitted their contact details. Then obviously you don't want that page showing up in search engines so that people can get that extra info without submitting their contact details, situations like that. Or maybe you've got some terrific content on your site and you're so web savvy and done so well with building your site that you've also included a printer friendly version of that same content. Great for the user and you've got a slick site, but the search engines can see that and go, hey, wait a second. This website has all this duplicate content, so let's penalize them for that. Or in plenty of cases, let's say you have some images on your site. Then those images can be assigned unique URLs by the search engines and then pop up in image search results. Searches that don't have anything to do with you or your site. And now you've got your images popping up in results. Maybe that's not cool. Anyway, we can fix all that easily. Now bear with me for a second. This is going to look freakishly complicated, but we'll get through it. First, write this line of code in the head section of the page you'd like to not have indexed. Then, that's it. Super simple, actually. That's really all there is to it. Just slap that line of code into any page and you're telling the search engines to crawl the content to go ahead and assign page rank value, but not index it and have it show up in search results. Just bear in mind that, like with a lot of these changes, it's going to take some time to propagate. The search engines won't know what to index and what not to index until they've crawled your site again and see this no index tag. Now while we're on the subject, you might have heard about two similar concepts, the no follow tag and the disallow directive. These also have their uses and you may find that they are exactly what you're looking for in some cases, instead of no index. Now we have two more videos that go into depth on each of those, so feel free to check those out. But for now, these concepts are similar, but quite a bit different, so let me just quickly break down those differences. Just like no index, the disallow directive within your robots.txt file, it tells search engines not to crawl certain pages or directories of your site. Now what's particularly convenient about this method is that you can apply it to entire folders in your website, or to all files of a certain type, or with URLs containing specific keywords. But even this isn't foolproof. Like, let's say that I disallow the indexing of my page member benefits. I don't want this indexed and showing up in search results. Well, if I have an internal link to that URL from another page on my site, or if an external website out there links to that member benefits page, then the search engines can find it that way and still might end up indexing that URL. Also, with the disallow directive, search engines like Google might be likely to lower or drop that page's ranking. So to play it safe and guarantee that a certain page or pages are not indexed and will not show up in search results, one must not have the disallow directive in robots.txt so that search engines are allowed to crawl the page. Then, by adding a noindex meta tag within the HTML of your page or your pages, you will tell the search engines, sure, go ahead, crawl the content of the page to see what's there. Give me credit for all the positive page rank links and content I have there, but please don't index it to make it appear in search results. And again, in order to use this no index meta tag, the page you're using it on can't be blocked in your robots.txt file, because search engines will see that first, then ignore the no index tag on that page because they won't see it in the first place. 
Now also, one can apply the no index directive to a page, pages, or even entire folders of your site within the robots.txt file, but apparently this isn't a very reliable way of handling the issue when done on its own. According to Google's own John Mueller, without him actually going into very much detail about it, recently warned against it. So it's more highly recommended to apply the noindex tag within the HTML of a page or pages. So generally speaking, the noindex tag is a more reliable choice. Now that said, if you have a new website that hasn't yet been crawled and indexed by search engines, and if you have pages or folders that you'd like to remain out of the index, then using the disallow directive can be much faster to implement, since you can apply it to many files or folders at once. So if you're fairly confident that there's no good reason that other websites will be linking to that unindexed content, then you should have no issues. But if your site's been up for a while and the pages you want out of the index have already been indexed, then use the noindex tag, and then you'll have to wait until those pages are crawled again. And it's only at that point that search engines will know not to index them anymore. Then lastly, let's look at one more scenario. So let's say you have a page with some great outbound links to high authority sites. So you've got some good page rank signal flow there. And you want the search engines to crawl it and reward you for it. But you don't want that page showing up in search results. And unfortunately, you also have some other links on that page that might be damaging to your page rank. Like you've got a comment section or a section for paid content, and you can't verify that the content that shows up there will be good. Maybe spam bots hit your comment section from time to time and you don't want to be penalized for those links. Or maybe you're doing a link exchange and having websites put your link up in exchange for you putting theirs up. Now you've got to be careful with this because search engines are always on the lookout for black hat techniques and shoddy link schemes. But let's say that you're doing this and yet you don't fully trust the links that you're putting up or you're afraid that they're low authority and might do damage to your page rank. Not a problem. In that case, just use the no index tag in the head section so that the search engines see it and say, okay, we'll crawl this content and look at the links you've got there. But then apply the no follow tag specifically to any links you don't want to vouch for. Then the search engines will follow the good ones and not follow the bad ones. So to sum it all up here, if you built a brand new website that hasn't been indexed yet and you want certain pages shut off from the search engines entirely, you don't want them indexed to show up in results, you don't want any positive or negative signal flow, and you're pretty confident that there's no reason that other websites will be linking directly to these pages. Then the disallow directive within your robots.txt file is a good way to go. For pages that you do want search engines to crawl and award positive page rank signal flow to, but you don't want those pages to show up in search results, then use the no index tag in your head section of the HTML for each of those pages. And if you have certain links within a page that you don't want to be penalized for, like links to user-generated content that may be spammy, but you do want other content on that page to be indexed and to retain positive signal flow, then use the no follow meta tag on those specific links that you want the search engines to ignore. And if you don't want that entire page showing up in search results, again, just apply the no index tag in the head section. Great, hopefully you're clear on the similarities and differences of all three and know which one to use to suit your site's specific needs. Feel free to check out our other videos so you can keep fine-tuning and getting the most out of your SEO. And click subscribe to stay updated with new tips and tricks to get you to the top of the search engine results pages.